bunch of things you can do with your turn in a game of civilization, but none so important as researching. The two main research trees are technology and civics. Each tree unlocks bonuses that will strengthen your civilization in different ways. Depending on which tech or civic you research, you'll set your civ on a different path to victory. But we'll cover those next time. Movement reveals unknown areas of the map, or, as we like to call it, the fog of war. With the fog of war removed, you can uncover hidden resources and discover natural wonders. Huh. Who knew Yosemite was in the middle of Africa? If you're unsure of what to do early on, send out a scout and have him start exploring. You never know what or who you might find. Welcome to the United States of America. Think Alexander the Great got his nickname because his empire was small? To grow your sieve, you need to build. That means new buildings, new units, and new city districts. Districts allow you to build more specialized buildings and improve certain parts of your sieve. Want to control the high seas? You'll need a harbor. Military lagging behind? Better build an encampment to make better units. <laughs> the world is a dangerous, barbarian-infested place, and securing your sieve's victory sometimes requires a less subtle approach. If an eye for an eye is your motto, attacking enemies strategically is critical to your success. We hereby declare war. But if the fist has failed, then why not try a shoulder rub? Use diplomacy, or schmooze your neighboring sieves, to get yourself a trading partner. Not everyone will like you right away, so get to know the other leaders and their unique agendas. This will help you figure out the best way to win them over, or topple them over. Por qué, señor? But how exactly do you win? Join me next time to learn all about sweet, sweet 